All right, what's up, YouTube family? So we're back with another video. Video with hey, hey, hey. So today we're gonna surprise my kids with a little spaghetti, but a spaghetti with a twist. So today we got our Mexican cheese, our Mexican cheese blend. We got some lettuce. And do not tell them this is the surprise. So we're going to put it on here. We're not going to tell them. But I did see this video. So we're going to go ahead and try it. I also got my. Can you see it? The Smart Taste Noodles. I already pre-cut up my onion and a pepper here. So I did do the onions and pepper already. And I got my water boiling in the back. And I got one. Well I got two of these just in case one is too small. But I got the ragu. The chunky style, chunky, chunky. Then we're gonna add a little bit of your girl. Know she love her garlic. Then we got our ranch. Got our ranch. Then we got our seasoned salt. Can you see that? Sorry, our seasoning salt. We also got our Parmesan cheese, pepper. So we got our black pepper here. Ground chuck. Now with our ground chuck, we got the 73% lean and the 27% fat. So this is the ground chuck that we're gonna be using. No, nothing's gonna go to waste today cause we gonna surely tear it up. So your girl about to show y'all what she about to do. We got the water on the back. We got the back burner bullet for our spaghetti noodles. Now if you don't know how to uh, boil spaghetti noodles, I feel sorry for you, but this was how I did mine. I poured a little E-B-O-O -O as, as they said to make it sound a little rich. But I got EVOO in there and I got a little bit of salt and now I'm going to add my noodles. I'll wait until the uh, water boil and then I drop my noodles in. So I'm going to bring you up close so that way you can see what you're going to make. We're going to see these kids reaction to see how they like what their dinner is going to look like. Alright, okay. So right now we got the burner on three so we're going to turn the burner up a little bit to five. So since our, our water is boiling in the back we're going to go ahead and add our noodles. Oh, sorry, our tasty, smart taste noodles. Now, I bought these because it was a closeout sale, so you got like four of them for $3.38. Plus, they healthy choice, and they... Do anybody else break their noodles up like I'm great about to do? I always break my noodles in half. Don't ask me why, but I do. I don't know if it... I'll be thinking that it makes it cook faster. So, I just break my noodles and break it in half, and I drop it in the water as so. And I do that down to the very last drop. Woo! Look at that. Ta-da! Shake everything out. So you shake everything out. So right now we're about to put our hamburger in here. But before we put our hamburger in here, we're going to go ahead and saute our onions and peppers. So we're going to throw a little bit of onions and peppers in there. We're going to add a little bit of oil because... We're going to add a little bit of virgin oil to this. Oh, we got to open it. We're going to only add a little bit, only because the hamburger meat is going to make its own. All right, so we got our little spoon right here, so we're going to go ahead and give it a good old mix. And we're going to turn the volume up. Oh, only if you can smell this right now. This thing is, smells so freaking good. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to cook that up. We're going to go ahead and let that cook. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and just knock it out the park, baby. So we're going to go ahead and knock that out the park and go ahead and let that brown it up and get a little cooked all the way. And then we're going to add our hamburger back in here. I don't know if anybody else, they, they um spatula or anything on the side of their pan. And when it's a pot, I sit it on the side like it's supposed to hold it. Because I hate when it touches the stove. Okay, now y'all hear that little sizzling? That's, that's the consistency that we're looking for with the little sizzle. You see how it's just sizzling? This is what we're looking for. And we don't want too much grease. If you can see, we don't want too much grease. We only want enough grease. Just to coat the bottom so the vegetables won't stick, the onions and peppers. Because this is going to make a lot of grease. And we're going to leave that right there as so. 
All right, now we're back. So this is what the peppers and onions should look like. So we don't want to cook them all away. So this is what the onions and peppers should look like. I don't want them all the way cooked because it will cook again once I put it my hamburger in here. So sorry, I'm making a whole lot of noise, but this is what it's looking like so far. Can you see? All right, and then back here, let me put this to the side. So as you can see, right back here, spaghetti noodles. They're almost done. So this is what the spaghetti noodles looking like. So let me get y'all up close. So for the spaghetti noodles, this is what it's looking like up close. You see that? Now that's to let you know when it's done. So what I like to do is I like to taste test my noodles just to make sure. And this is what. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this hamburger in here. So we're going to drop the hamburger right on top of here. On top of our peppers and onions. And I'm going to go ahead and take my my noodles. Okay, so we're going to take them. We're going to take and pour the noodles and put it right on in here. Just like that. And make sure you get out all your noodles. And shake it if you got to. So once my noodles get done, I like to shake it out and get out the excess water. So that's what they looking like and I'm gonna put them right back in the pan. So we're gonna go right back to the ground beef and what I like about the ground beef is this right here. This is our special tool. Smashy, smashy. So what I like to do is I like to get into it and I like to smash the ground beef. Smash and twist, smash and twist. And what it does is when you smash and you twist, it makes it into little pieces so that way it can be distributed, the heat can be distributed evenly. So we're gonna just smash and twist. Look at that. So we're gonna let this cook down a little bit. And we're gonna make sure our onions and peppers get in there and evenly cook with them with the meat. So that's what we do. You see right there? See how it's looking? So we got the ground beef and we got our two utensils on the side. And right now that's what we're doing. We sit up here waiting for it to, you know, browning on each side. And then over there, that's where our uh, spaghetti is with our, our noodles. So this is our spaghetti. Sorry with our noodles. It's right here. And then once we get done, we'll add the hamburger to the spaghetti. Since it's in that pot, or we might add the noodles to the spaghetti. I don't know, however, we'll figure it out. All right, so now that it's almost done like this now, this is when I like to season my meat. I don't like to season it when it's too much. Like when it's not all the way done, I like to season it just like this. So I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. So here's the black pepper right here. Oops, sorry, let me turn around. Black pepper. A little bit of seasoned salt. Now I don't want to add too much because then it'll make it salty. And we don't want it too salty. We'll add a little bit of this ranch. Just a tiny bit because ranch could be a little bit much okay and you know your girl got to add her favorite sometimes I, I sometimes I a little OD on uh, garlic but you know what I'm saying I love it so this is the time that I like to season my meat and then what I do is I work it in there 
accordingly. So this is what I like about this, like I said, with the um, with this. So what I do is I go in and I twist the meat. So that way it can make it into little sections. Just like, let me see if I can pick it up. Just like this. You see how it's falling apart just like that? I like to use this because that's what it does. So that way it don't clump up all the meat all together. It's just, just like this. So you just take it and you twist. Use a little bit of elbow grease up in this thing. You know what I'm saying? Twisty, twisty, like you're twisting the knob. So, this is what I was telling you about the onions and peppers. Remember I said I don't want my onions and peppers done all the way because it will cook in the meat. So this is what it's looking like. Can you see? So this is what I was talking about. So it'll start cooking in the meat. So once the meat get a little hot, it'll start cooking down the onions and peppers too. And we'll get us a try soon as all this, as soon as we get rid of all this pink. Because we still got a lot of pink up in here. We don't want that. We're not eating that. So we're going to cook this down just a little bit. And then we'll, we'll taste it just to see if we need to add a little bit more seasoning. Because you always want to taste your food before you give it to somebody else. And this is what I was telling y'all. So let me go ahead and shake this off. So what I like to do is I like to put my spoon in the little holder right on the side as so. Just like that. I don't know why I do this, but I always do this. I put my foot, my spoon or my fork in there just like that. I don't know why to me. I think that's what it's for. I'm not certain, but that's what I use it as. So you see how my meat is just a bubbling? Let me turn you back around. You see that little bubble session? Let me show you. Ooh, ooh, you see that little bubbling session? That's what I'm talking about. Just like that. And right now, this is the, um, I'm trying to learn how to use the camera and, and try to record how to make a video at the same time. So excuse me, you know, because my stove is one way and I'm the other. So I'm trying to make it happen as accordingly. So this is what we looking like so far. It smells good. Top of the line. And I told you also these kids is in here. They don't know what kind of surprise they're getting. So shh, don't tell them. We're not going to tell them what they're going to get. So we're just going to make their plates. And at least make one plate or two. We're going to make two plates. One a piece. And we're going to surprise them with their meal. Then we're going to come out here and see what their reaction is. So right now we're going to go ahead and just let this finish cooking down. And see where we're going at from there. All right, so right now I just drained my hamburger, my hamburger meat with my um, peppers and onions. And you still hear it sizzling a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ragu, my ragu, tomato, garlic, and onion, the chunky style. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to it. So I don't know if anybody else uh, add a little bit of water to their stuff, but I'm about to add a little bit of water to mine. I'm a firm believer, don't leave no sauce behind. So we're going to go ahead and just shake it up. See that? We're going to shake it up. And we're going to pour in the rest. All right, so while we're doing that, we're gonna just go ahead and maneuver the sauce in here. So that's how we see it, the sauce. So we're putting the sauce on up in here, honey. You see that? It almost looks like sloppy gel, but we know it's not, cause it's, it's spaghetti sauce, even though sloppy gel is like a red sauce too, but I look at the consistency like this. All right, so since we got the sauce right there and the consistency looking like that, we're going to add our noodles. We're going to add a little at a time, so that way we can cook the whole noodles. Now, now if it wasn't for this that I'm cooking a spaghetti, I usually like my sauce on the side and then my noodles separately, or separately and then put on the plate my noodles and then put my sauce on top. But for this purpose, what we're doing today, we're going to add it in our our sauce, just like this. Usually I would hate it like this, but today we're going to do it just like this, as so. Now, since we already got that coated, we're going to go ahead and... Did I just spill that over there? And we're just going to go ahead and add the rest of our noodles. Just like that. Dag. 
So here's our sauce, and we're gonna keep on adding until we get the noodles all over the place. You heard that? Hmm. Mhm. Mm that was loud. Yeah, that was loud. Sound like a pot. It was a pot, but whatever they doing next door, you can hear it all the way in here. Okay, so we're mixing it up. We're gonna make sure we touch all the sauce on all the noodles. Reminds me of the game on um, Lunch Lady. Uh, what, this what, is scary game. Where um, you try to uh, get the um, cancers, mm -hmm. final um, test answer sheets in the game, get the keys and stuff. Then the Lunch Lady chases you with a pen and she throws it at you. Oh, and wow. Then, <laughs> and then when it hits you, it makes that sound. Oh, that's not good. All right, comment below if you also add sugar to your sauce. Now, I do add a little bit of sugar to my sauce because I hate what the taste of my um, spaghetti and it tastes just like sauce. So, I do add a little bit of sugar. Make it a little bit sweeter. And a little bit of sweeter, as Sweet said. You like sugar in your spaghetti? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to reach over and get the... What's that cheat? Oh, so we're going to add a little bit of sugar to cut down the acid in the spaghetti. And we're going to mix this up real good. Because we want to cut down some of the acid in the spaghetti sauce. This brand, you know, I don't know if it, you know, with the the GERD. It'll probably help out with the GERD so you don't have to use as many Tums. You know? Oh, that's looking like, oh, look at this sweet. This looking so good, girl. All right, and from here, Perfect. we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So from here, we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I have forgot what it's called for a second. What, Parmesan? Yeah. That's all right. We got it. All right. So we're adding a little bit of Parmesan. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And we're going to mix that up. We're going to make sure it get all the way down in there. So we're going to mix it real good. Just like that. All right, and we also got some grated uh, Mexican blend cheese over here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And we're going to throw a little bit of this Mexican blend cheese up in there. That's a lot in that bag. I know, but we're not going to add the whole thing. We're only going to add a little bit. Oh, I know. So we're going to add a little bit, just like that, just to bring in some orange and some cheesy feel. So we're going to put it in just like that. I used to warm up my spaghetti. Just like that. I don't know, sometimes cheese give it a little different taste, I, um, I would imagine, but sometimes cheese give it a little bit of taste. So I like the consistency of the cheese in there. So this is what we're looking like so far. Let me give you a close up on it because, honey, this is looking real delicious. Let me get you a close up on there. Ooh, look at that. You see your peppers, your on your onions not even in there because it's so far like gone. I see an onion. You see an onion? Yeah. Okay, so this is the time that I'm gonna kick sweet pea out. Bye. So this is the time that I'm gonna kick sweet pea out because we're gonna surprise them in a few seconds. I didn't want to tell her what I was in the midst of doing because this is their surprise and we're going to catch their reaction to see how they like what I just did with their meal. So stay tuned. We'll be right back as soon as I get done fixing them up and then I'm going to call them in here so that way they can see what I just done to their food. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and start their surprise. So we're going to go ahead and start processing their surprise. Let's make sure ain't nobody there. So we seen this on TikTok, so we don't even know how this is gonna be. So we just gonna see what they say. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the meal. Just like that. So 
So we're gonna add a little bit to this, to this shell right here, just like that. I'm gonna add a little bit to this shell right here like that. Just like that. I'm gonna flatten it out. Just like that. So we're gonna add some cheese to it as if we would really do it just like that. We're gonna add a little bit of cheese to each one, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna add a little bit of lettuce. One of my kids, one of my kids like tomatoes and the other one don't, so we're just gonna do without tomatoes. So we're gonna add a little bit of lettuce to each one of them. So we're gonna put some lettuce on there, just like that. All right. Put a little bit of lettuce. We're gonna add some lettuce to this one too. like that so again that's what we looking like let me get a close-up on it so, this is what we looking like so we got the spaghetti in here you see the spaghetti so we got the spaghetti in there we got our lettuce on top and we got So we're gonna give it a try before we call them in here. So we're gonna go ahead and get us a try before we call them. So we're gonna go ahead and take our little shell. We're gonna bite into it and we're gonna see how it really tastes. It ain't bad, but it ain't good neither. It's not bad, but it's something that you're about to get used to. We're gonna call them in to see how they like it. And get their honest opinion. All right, y'all, so I had them close their eyes because this is their surprise. Now we're gonna get their honest review. Okay, so go ahead, open up your eyes. Yeah, what'd you get yourself? <laughs> I Carly? Yeah, it's a TikTok video that I've seen. And they made spaghetti tacos. So go ahead and bite it. That's what you are getting. Yeah, I was getting it. So what it tastes like? It's it's different. It's something that you got to get used to. But I did. Mm -hmm. You like it? So on a scale of one to ten, how good is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this. So I got this off of TikTok. They seen it on iCarly, the TV show for kids. And what they did was took spaghetti and put it in a taco shell. And I seen it. I'm like, I gotta try this video. So the kids gave you their honest opinion. And like I said, it's not really a bad. It's not really bad. But at the same time, it's something that you got to get used to. Because who would thought to put spaghetti in a taco shell? So one of them like, one of them like uh, tomatoes and one don't. So we did it without tomatoes. So again, how is it? Could y'all eat this again? Mm -hmm. All right. So they could eat it again. So that's a good thing. So we know to make that again. Again, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And if you're going to go ahead and try these spaghetti tacos, just go on and let me know and comment down below if you would try this or if you wouldn't. And let me know your honest opinion about it. Like I said, it's not a bad thing. It's something that you got to get used to. But if you like this video, we if I hit like and subscribe, we greatly appreciate you. And y'all just have a blessed one because we will. So hit like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. Bye.